off the east coast of Shetland lies Nos. Every year, this extraordinary island plays host to 80,000 seabirds returning to the cliffs to breed during the summer months. Each species adapting in their own unique way to overcome the challenges of life on land. At the tops of the cliffs, the colourful characters on Nos make their home, the Atlantic Puffins. After mating out at sea, they return to their breeding grounds in large social groups. Puffins are often playfully known as the clowns of the sea due to their teardrop eyes, colourful bill and somewhat comical behaviour. However, this bill knocking is no laughing matter. These intimate displays of courtship help to restore the pair bonds, which persist year after year. Puffins nest in burrows, sometimes occupied by the resident rabbits over winter, leaving some unfortunate souls to find a new home. Unconcerned, they'll begin the upkeep of their burrow by collecting nesting materials. With some individuals, clearly in less of a hurry than others. Grass and feathers are used to line their burrows for warmth before laying a single egg inside. Lurking on the nearby moorland is the top predator on Nos, the great skua. Given the chance, they would undoubtedly steal a puffin egg. With this puffin on full alert, however, the great skewer's time will be better spent in search of an easier meal. While puffins keep their eggs protected in burrows, their close relatives, the guillemots, have safety in numbers. Guillemots breed in dense colonies, nesting on the ledges carved into the sandstone cliffs. So superbly adapted to life at sea, finding their feet on land can sometimes be a bit of a struggle. Laying their eggs on these precarious perches leaves them vulnerable to falling off the cliffs. Guillemots must be extremely vigilant, keeping a close eye on their eggs at all times. And by keeping them hidden behind the mass of bodies, they will also be shielded from predators and the cold winds. Such cosy nesting arrangements are bound to lead to the occasional squabble, with some unsuspecting guillemots finding themselves on the wrong end of a sharp beak. But with their eggs at risk of falling off the precarious cliffs, keeping the peace is essential. Preening is a useful way to appease your neighbour and prevent tensions from escalating. Unfortunately for the guillemots, they share the cliffs with another summer breeder one which is far less tolerant of such close nesting arrangements. Gannets. 
Gannets are notoriously aggressive, using their dagger-like beaks to great effect. Any foolish enough to stray too close to a nest will no doubt find themselves in a rather uncomfortable predicament. This aggressive behaviour ensures everyone firmly stays a beak's length apart, resulting in a highly structured breeding society with perfectly spaced nests throughout the cliffs. Oblivious to the neighbourly disputes of others, some pairs reunite and perfectly demonstrate Gannet's more nurturing side. These elaborate courtship displays, often followed by tender preening, help to maintain the pair bonds which last a lifetime. Once fully reacquainted, one mate will leave in search of more nesting materials, while the other must remain behind or risk losing their place on the cliff. As summer flies by, thousands of birds will be busy at work, collecting nesting materials and constructing their nests. Within gannet colonies, there is variation in when pairs begin their breeding journey. While some are still adding the finishing touches to their nest, elsewhere on the cliffs, other pairs have already welcomed a new addition to their family. The rapid growth of gannet chicks soon creates a tight squeeze on the cliffs. And, as gannets are extremely protective of their chick, aggression starts to escalate again. A gannet's next battle is never too far away. Although it is ultimately to ensure the safety of their family. Nearby, the guillemots have likewise welcomed some new additions of their own. Guillemots are remarkably good at keeping their chicks carefully hidden. But as the young guillemots get bolder by the day, it starts to become rather difficult to keep them contained. It is essential to first teach them some important life skills. Soon enough, these aspiring jumplings' time will come to leap off the cliffs and make their way out to sea. Whilst the gannets and guillemots have been tending to their young, the puffins too have been hard at work. The arrival of puffins with bills full of sand eels announces success back at the burrows. At the height of breeding season, puffins can be seen displaying their impressive hauls all over the cliffs. with no time to spare, it's straight back out again to fish for more. As summer draws to a close, the seabirds leave the land and return to their real home, the sea. 
The cliffs take on a forlorn appearance. The seabird city is emptying, abandoned until next year. When the whole process will start all over again. Thank you.